YouTube friends. Ready for another episode of Hello Skrilla Pigs Out? I am. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so next on the list in the Taste the Season tasting box is Chocolate Honey Mints by Honey Acres. Here, here they are. They, they sent me two of them. Okay. Here's the other one. All right. And uh, so in here it says peppermint and chocolate are a classic winter combination. And the raw honey in these mints provides a natural source of energy. Okay. And so on here it just says uh, honey acres since 1852. Dark chocolate honey mint. And it's got a website, www.honeyacres.com. And it looks like they're on Facebook, Google+, Instagram, YouTube, and Twitter. And the ingredients are honey, unsweetened chocolate, and peppermint oil. Real simple, real simple. All right, and then they've got a phone number, 800-558-7745. And I think uh, I just noticed the ingredients look a little bit different on the on this this page here. It, it says raw honey, dark unsweetened chocolate, and natural peppermint oil. So pretty simple, or I mean pretty simple, but just a little more uh, detailed, I guess. Okay. So let's let's try them. Let's pick out. I, I bet these are gonna taste like peppermint patties. It, it's interesting that the chocolate is unsweetened. They just use the the honey to sweeten the chocolate. Or these might be more like those Andes mints. Cause I I don't think there's any like uh, white stuff inside. It's just solid chocolate. I bet. Let's bite into it. <laughs> I was wrong. It's got it's got white stuff inside it. It's just like a, a peppermint patty. See. Oh, that's good. The dark chocolate is really rich. Mm, that's really good. Um, it kind of loses its loses its sweetness at the end once the inside uh, kind of melts away, and all all that's left is the dark chocolate coating. But but that that dark chocolate is really good still. And, and the there's no crazy ingredients to take away from the natural peppermint flavor. That's a lot, a lot different than the pep the York peppermint patty. Uh, the taste of the natural peppermint oil is a lot, a lot different.
That's good. Really high quality gourmet flavor. I like that. All right. Okay, just a second here. Okay, so so I've got another special holiday bonus. This is going to be the last one. My my uh, my friend's grandmother uh, at Christmas time. Her name is Harriet. Uh, she gave me this. <laughs> a, a Hillshire Farm. Uh, it's got cheddar, summer sausage, and stoned wheat crackers. And it's got a, a little meat cleaver inside here. And, and a solid marble cheese board with wire cutter. So let's, let's check it out a little bit here. Okay, so that's what I got. Oh. Oops. Stuck on here with tape. Trying to rip the label off of this. What we got? We got cheddar. It says Premier Brand Cheddar. Cheddar flavored pasteurized. Uh, processed cheese food, four ounces. <laughs> it says four ounce cheddar bar. Ingredients: cheddar cheese, milk, cheese cultures, salt, enzymes, water, sodium phosphate, calcium propionate, which is a preservative, salt, apple car, no apple carotenol for color. And it contains milk. Uh, distributed by Bay Island Incorporated, Minnetonka, Minnesota, 55343. All right, and, they, and then they sent me uh, Hillshire Farm Summer Sausage. U.S. inspected and passed by Department of Agriculture. Five ounces. Fully cooked. Refrigerate after opening. 2014. The Hillshire Brands Company. Hillshire, Hillshire Farm and logo, logo are registered trademarks of Sara Lee Foods, LLC. <laughs> Nobody doesn't like Sara Lee. <laughs> okay. And it says ingredients. Pork beef, salt, and it contains 2% of or less of natural flavors, citric acid, whole mustard seed, dextrose, vitamin C, which is sodium ascorbate, and sodium nitrate. Nitrite, not nitrate. Distributed by the Hillshire Brands Company, Chicago, Illinois, 60607, USA, 1-800-328-2426 www.hillshirefarm.com Fully cooked, use or freeze by date shown. <laughs> Alright, and then, then we've got some uh, stoned wheat crackers. They're stoned. <laughs> and it says, uh, Redstone Kitchen, lightly salted. Half an ounce. And so, so, the ingredients are unbleached wheat flour, cracked wheat, expeller pressed canola oil, salt, sugar, yeast, and leavening, which is baking soda, and contains wheat, made on equipment that also processes sesame seeds. All right, so so they also sent me. Uh, I mean, they, this came with this little meat cleaver. So I'm going to wash it, and then I'll use it to cut the cheese in the, I mean the, not cut the cheese. <laughs> I'm going to use it to cut the summer sausage. And then there's also, this, uh, Oh, 
I mean, this is heavy. Solid marble cheese board with wire cutter. So I'll use this to cut the cheese with. <laughs> Look, there's... Oh, boy, that's interesting. It says, natural stone. Slight variations in color are part of the beauty and uniqueness of marble. And it's got the same thing in French. Pierre Naturel. Les Légères Variations de Colères Donant au Marbre de l'Elegance et un Caractère Unique. <laughs> There's an extra cheese wire on the back there. Both got nice little rubber feet. That's cool. So I'm gonna wash this too, and then, and then what I'll do is I'll I'll, uh, I'll count how many crackers are in here, and then I'll try to make as many cheese slices and sausage slices. <laughs> all right, so so I'll pause the recording while I do all that. Okay, I'm back, and I I washed the the marble. Uh, cheese cutting board, cheese, cheese stone, and I and I washed the the little mini meat cleaver, and uh, the the crackers. There was only three of them, so I I cut them in half. See, there, that's half of one of them. So so I've got six crackers now. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna use the meat cleaver to cut the sausage well actually no I'm gonna cut the I'm gonna cut the cheese first I'm gonna cut it into six pieces then we'll see how big the pieces are all right so here we go so we'll cut it in half first I think that's about half this marble cutting block is really nice. Uh, it's got a marble handle too. Get ready. Oh, that didn't work. Okay, hold on. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Two. Three. Yeah, they're not turning out all the same size, but that's okay. Last cut will make five and six. There we go. Boy, that's easy. <laughs> All right, so we got six pieces of cheese. We'll put them up here. They're almost all the same size. A little piece of cheese. All right, now I'll cut the sausage. I'll use the meat cleaver. I'm gonna cut it in half first. I don't know if you can see it. <laughs> All 
<laughs> there we go. Oh, almost perfectly in half. Okay. Then we'll try to cut the remaining halves into three pieces. Two, three. These are kind of this, uh, this meat cleaver is pretty sharp. All right, now we're cutting the second half. One. Two, three. And you know these are really thick, so I'm it's gonna be ridiculous eating these on these crackers. So they, I think I'm gonna cut them in half again. Then I'll have nicer sized pieces of sausage. And I don't think you're supposed to eat the casings. So I'm gonna Peel the casings off. Oops. Oops. Yeah, these, these casings are, I think they're just some kind of wax paper. Yeah, you don't, I don't think you're supposed to eat that. Okay. <laughs> Got four of them done. Six. Six. 
Seven. I think I found a mustard seed. It was on my thumb from the sausage. Was I on eight? Nine. No, that's not right. Was it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven? This is number 11. One more, 12. Okay, I've got the paper casings off all of these. And I was thinking, I'm going to go ahead and cut these crackers in half again so I'll have the and I'll cut the cheese in half too so I'll have 12 pieces of sausage and 12 pieces of cheese and 12 crackers okay so I'll cut the cheese first Whoop. them over here. <laughs> Making kind of a mess. There we go. Okay, so I got 12 pieces of cheese that are all about this size. And Okay, now I'll cut the crackers in half again. Okay, so there's six crackers. Seven, eight. What am I doing? Okay. Nine, ten. Oops, I messed this last one up. Oh, and 12. Okay. The last one kind of crumbled apart. But that's okay. I'm going to put these casings in the trash over here. Oops. So, just organizing it a little bit here.
Okay, there we go. So, so now you can see. If I cut all the pieces of sausage and cheese and crackers, so there's 12 of each. Alright, just a second. Let me just make sure I've got enough room on my recorder. <laughs> Okay, I'm back. And so once again, I, I decided to cut cut these into 12 pieces each. I've got the crackers cut into 12 pieces, the cheese cut into 12 pieces, and the sausage cut into 12 pieces. They're not all equal size, but they're pretty close. <laughs> all right, and uh, so I'm, and, and, uh, this will be a nice meal, kind of like Lunchables, I guess. I'm I'm gonna try one thing of each first though, just to test the flavor of everything. So I'm gonna eat one of these crackers first. I'll eat the broken one. It's got a really good flavor. It, it's not too dry. I, I thought it was going to be really dry. Kind of like saltine crackers, but it's real nice. It's got a good salty flavor. Kind of a, almost a creamy flavor to it. All right. And then, uh, okay, we'll try this, this cheese. Let's get a little piece. All right. <laughs> Mm, that's good. Um, it's got a nice smoky flavor to it. Um, and it's good cheddar flavor. It, it's not too, it's not very sharp. But I like really sharp cheddar, so it's it's not as sharp as I'd like it to be. It does. It also doesn't taste as fresh as uh, real real cheddar. Um, you can tell it's uh, pasteurized process cheese product and not real cheddar but still got a, it still has a really good cheddar flavor to it all right so okay and then we'll taste this sausage I'll, I'll eat this little piece I peeled the casings off looks pretty good Oh, that's really good. Uh, it's got a nice juicy flavor, a little bit of spice to it. I can taste the mustard in it. All right, all right. So, uh, okay. So now we'll make our little little crackers. <laughs> Put some cheese on it. Yeah, we'll eat this big big one first. <laughs> That's really good. It's really good altogether. And you know what? I I just now realized I made a mistake earlier in the video. I, I think I said 
that my friend's grandmother, Harriet, gave this to me. It, I'm sorry, I, I made a mistake. It's actually, it's actually my friend's mother, Harriet. She's not, she's not uh, my friend's grandmother. <laughs> so, sorry about that. She is, she is a grandmother, but not my friend's grandmother. <laughs> okay. I don't, don't mean to, don't mean to insult anybody. <laughs> okay. okay, one more. I mean, not one more. We've got several more, but we we'll need another one now. Yeah, these are really good. They're better than, better than lunch, better than lunchables. <laughs> Okay, I'm back, and I uh, actually did eat all 12 of those uh, crackers and cheese and sausage pieces, but I, I forgot to delete uh, the, the video from my phone where I was cutting it all up, and uh, so my phone ran out of storage and, and didn't didn't record the whole thing of me eating it uh, and I'm, I'm sorry about that um, but but uh, but yeah it was really good the only problem I had was the the proportions of the sausage were a lot bigger than the cheese and crackers I think if I if I would have had uh, twice as many crackers it would have been better I, I could have made uh, 24 cheese and meat and cracker stacks and that the the I could have cut the sausage into smaller slices and it would have been uh, more proportionate <laughs> oh, oh well but but other than that it was, it was really good stuff and I think I think this is gonna last me a long time it's really nice really well built I, I like it uh, I can't say the same for this. It seems kind of flimsy. It's really sharp though. It's it's pretty nice, but um, but it, it but yeah, not not as well built as this. I'm afraid. Uh, and I want to thank uh, my friend's mother Harriet again for for this for Christmas. And, and uh, all right, and I hope you all have. A great week and we'll talk to you later. Bye bye. <laughs>